GSM frequency bands or frequency ranges are the cellular frequencies designated by the ITU for the operation of GSM mobile phones. Bands There are 14 bands defined in 3GPPTS 45.005, which succeeded 3GPPTS 05.05, bands 2 and 5 have been deployed in NAR and CALA, bands 3 and 8 have been deployed in the MEA and APAC. All other bands have not seen any commercial deployments, PGSM, standard or primary GSM 900 band, EGSM, extended GSM 900 band, RGSM, railways GSM 900 band, TGSM, trunking GSM, GSM 900, GSM 1800 and EGSM EGSM 900, GSM 900 and GSM. Minus 1800 are used in most parts of the world, Europe, Middle East, Africa, Australia, Oceania. In South and Central America the following countries use the following. Bolivia Euro GSM 850 and 1900, Paraguay Euro GSM 850 and 1900, Peru Euro GSM 1900, Costa Rica Euro GSM 1800, Brazil Euro GSM 850, 900, 1800 and 1900. Guatemala Euro GSM 850, GSM 900 and 1900, El Salvador Euro GSM 850, GSM 900 and 1900, Venezuela Euro GSM 850, GSM 900 and 1900. GSM 900 uses 890 Euro 915 MHz to send information from the mobile station to the base station and 935 Euro 960 MHz for the other direction, providing 124 RF channel spaced at 200 kHz. Duplex spacing of 45 MHz is used. Guard bands 100 kHz wide are placed at either end of the range of frequencies. GSM 1800. GSM 1800 uses 1710 a Euro 1785 MHz to send information from the mobile station to the base transceiver station and 1805 a Euro 1880 MHz for the other direction, providing 374 channels. Duplex spacing is 95 MHz. GSM 1800 is also called DCS in the United Kingdom while being called PCS in Hong Kong a Euro to avoid confusion with GSM 1900 which is commonly called PCS in the rest of the world. Mobile communication services on aircraft uses GSM 1800. GSM 850 and GSM 1900. GSM 850 and GSM 1900 are used in Argentina, Bolivia, Brazil, Canada, the United States and many other countries in the Americas. GSM 850 uses 824 a Euro 849 MHz to send information from the mobile station to the base station and 869 a Euro 894 MHz for the other direction. Channel numbers are 128 to 251. GSM 850 is also sometimes called GSM 800 because this frequency range was known as the 800 MHz band. When it was first allocated for EMPS in the United States in 1983, the term cellular is sometimes used to describe the 850 MHz band, because the original analog cellular mobile communication system was allocated in this spectrum. GSM 1900 uses 1850 Euro 1910 MHz to send information from the mobile station to the base station and 1930 Euro 1990 MHz for the other direction. Channel numbers are 512 to 810. PCS is the original name in North America for the 1900 MHz band. It is an initialism for personal communications service. GSM 450, another less common GSM version is GSM 450. It uses the same band as, and can coexist with, old analog NMT systems. NMT is a first generation mobile phone system which was primarily used in Nordic countries, Benelux, Alpine countries, Eastern Europe and Russia prior to the introduction of GSM. It operates in either 450.4 a Euro 457.6 a megahertz paired with 460.4 a Euro 467.6 a megahertz, 
or 478.8 Euro 486 MHz paired with 488.8 Euro 496 MHz. The GSM Association claims one of its around 680 operator members has a license to operate a GSM 450 network in Tanzania. However, Currently all active public operators in Tanzania use GSM 901800s MHz. Overall, where the 450 MHz NMT band exists, it either still runs NMT, or it's been replaced by CDMA GSM 450 as a provision. It has not seen commercial deployment. GSM frequency usage around the world, Americas, in North America, GSM operates on the primary mobile communication bands 850 MHz and 1900 MHz. In Canada, GSM 1900 is the primary band used in urban areas with 850 as a backup, and GSM 850 being the primary rural band. In the United States, regulatory requirements determine which area can use which band. GSM 1900 and GSM 850 are also used in most of South and Central America, and both Ecuador and Panama use GSM 850 exclusively. Venezuela and Brazil use GSM 850 and GSM 900 1800 mixing the European and American bands. Some countries in the Americas use GSM 900 or GSM 1800, some others use 3, GSM 850 and 900. GSM 8501900, GSM 9001900 or GSM 8501800. Soon some countries will use GSM 8500-1800-1900 MHz like the Dominican Republic, Trinidad and Tobago and Venezuela. In Brazil, the 1900 MHz band is paired with 2100 MHz to form the IMT compliant 2100 MHz band for 3G services. The result is a mixture of usage in the Americas that requires travelers to confirm that the phones they have are compatible with the band of the networks at their destinations. Frequency compatibility problems can be avoided through the use of multi band phones. Africa, Europe, Middle East, and Asia. In Africa, Europe, Middle East and Asia, most of the providers use 900 MHz and 1800 MHz bands. GSM 900 is most widely used. Fewer operators use DCS 1800 and GSM 1800. A dual band 900-1800 phone is required to be compatible with almost all operators. At least the GSM 900 band must be supported in order to be compatible with many operators. Multi-band and multi-mode phones. Today, most telephones support multiple bands as used in different countries to facilitate roaming. These are typically referred to as multi-band phones. Dual-band phones can cover GSM networks in pairs such as 900 and 1800 MHz frequencies or 850 and 1900. European tri-band phones typically cover the 900. 1800 and 1900 bands giving good coverage in Europe and allowing limited use in North America, while North American tri-band phones utilize 850, 1800 and 1900 for widespread North American service but limited worldwide use. A new addition has been the quad band phone, also known as a world phone, supporting all four major GSM bands, allowing for global use. There are also multi-mode phones which can operate on GSM as well as on other mobile phone systems using other technical standards or proprietary technologies. Often these phones use multiple frequency bands as well. For example, one version of the Nokia 6340i gate phone sold in North America can operate on GSM 1900, GSM 850 and legacy TDMA 1900, TDMA 800, and UMPS 800 making it both multi-mode and multi-band. As a more recent example the Apple iPhone 5 and iPhone 4S support quad-band GSM at 8,500-1800-1900 MHz, quad-band UMT Super at 8,500-1900-2100 MHz, and dual-band CDMA EV do Reverend A at 800-1900 MHz, for a total of six different frequencies. This allows the same handset to be sold for AT&T Mobility, Verizon, 
and Sprint in the U.S. as well as a broad range of GSM carriers worldwide such as Vodafone, Orange and T-Mobile, many of whom offer official unlocking. See also, 3GPP, Cellular Frequencies, ODGPS, Roaming, UMTS Frequency Bands, United States 2008 Wireless Spectrum Auction, References, 3GPP TSO 5.05 version 8.20.0 Release 1999 Pages 9 and 10, Rappaport, Theodore S., Wireless Communications, Principles and Practices, 2nd ed. Upper Saddle River, New Jersey, Prentice Hall, 2002. Pages 554. OFTA of HK, Office of the Telecommunications Authority, Europa, Press Releases, Press Release, Commission Decisions on Mobile Communication Services on Aircraft, Frequently Asked Questions. Europa U. Retrieved on September 18, 2013. Ericsson, Nokia i450 MHz GSM Technology, International Cell Phones. Sell higher. Retrieved September 3, 2013. A, external links. LDPOST.com. A Euro history of GSM and more GSM history, technology, bands, multi band phones, 3GPP specification detail TSO 5.05 specification 3GPP TSO 5.05 radio transmission and reception. 3GPP Specification Detail TS 45.005 Specification 3GPP TS 45.005 Radio Transmission and Reception, 3GPP Specifications for Group, R4A Euro Frequencies Info for UMTS.